Hey YouTube, this is Itchy, and I wanted to uh, show you some things that have been going on at Fukushima and uh, what the jet stream is doing right now and what it's been doing over the last few days because I went over the EPA graphs tonight and there are quite a few cities that are recording very high results. In fact, um, they are either tied or higher with the highest results for those particular cities um, since June since the graphs were brought back online. Let me show you real quick here something that was caught on the cameras and this is not near the reactors this is actually an area between the reactors and the common spent fuel pool which is in the ground which is away from the reactors. I don't know if that was some type of nuclear reaction or explosion it only showed up on one frame of JNN cameras and today, or I'm sorry, yesterday, um, there's a new yellow light. And prior to this, it was actually um, flashing white in this area and flashing red. And if you go to this guy's channel, um, you can look at all the flashes. He has them well documented. Now, this light, and he's going to zoom on, zoom on into it in just a moment. Um, you know it looks small from this far away but you have to remember these reactors are huge and in comparison each one of these is a floor of the reactor building so that means this area is approximately the size of a school bus and let me speed along here to where we can take a closer look at it if anybody has any ideas of what this might be I'm not aware of any work that is going on um, especially in light of the extraordinarily high readings that are now coming out of reactor 3 following a uh, robot cleanup that occurred there last week um, they have since sent workers home and and uh, severely reduced the number of workers and there has been some discussion although most of it has been through Twitter at this point um, from workers at Fukushima Daiichi that um, TEPCO may be trying to evacuate the plant. And if you remember at the beginning of this crisis, they wanted to do that, and the Japanese government said, no, you need to stay there and see what you can do to fix this. Now, there is some optical distortion. But again, if you have any ideas, um, please put it in the comments below. All right, let's get right into these five cities, and I'm going to put a link to the graphs at the bottom so you can look for your city. Uh, these were the five highest readings. The first one is Denver, Colorado, and it looks like on November the 22nd, uh, Denver, Denver was recording approximately 550 counts per minute, and these are air graphs. So afterward, if there is a rain out, this radiation then goes into the ground and into the water supply. So Denver on the 22nd looked like this. Next city up, Bismarck, North Dakota. Um, this is the highest reading that Bismarck has had since the graphs came back online in June. This looks like it was November the 24th, and it came in at about 620 counts per minute. Again, 300 is the danger level. And on the 24th of November, this is where the jet stream was. And there's North Dakota. Next city up, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Again, this is the highest level that it's had, coming in at a little over 450 counts per minute on approximately November the 22nd. This is where the jet stream was on November the 22nd. And Fort Smith, Arkansas, I believe is right there.
Amarillo, Texas, which is always a mess. Second highest reading since June, coming in at 850 counts per minute. And that was on, it looks like, November the 23rd. And on November the 23rd, this is where the jet stream was. Mason City, Iowa, again tied for the highest readings on November 23rd, coming in at about 460 counts per minute. And I was right below Minnesota, and this is how the jet stream moved through there on the 23rd. So as you can see, it went right through that area. Now, I'll put a link to this jet stream analysis. You can look at past, present, or future forecasts. You can go to the EPA graphs, see what they were for your city. And this is just a quick forecast for the upcoming days. Today is um, November the 27th. This is where the jet stream is right now. Highest rainfall over the next five days is going to be, again, in the Pacific Northwest. And in this area of the country, in fact, I'll show you what it looks like right now on a telecast. And let me just run it through here so you can see what it's going to do over the next couple of days. Here is NOAA's prediction for uh, rainfall in the next five days. So the jet stream is going to be laying right over the top of this. There is um, extreme fallout potential for this area and for this area. This is what's going on right now. And it looks like there's a lot of moisture being pulled out of the Gulf. So expect heavy rainfall in these areas. Avoid getting wet. And if you do, come in and take a shower with some baking soda. Have your kids take a bath in baking soda. Um, and wash your clothes in it too. It'll help remove particles. But if you can avoid going outside in this rain, that would really be the best thing to do right now especially in light of you know these um, well this which hasn't been explained but this yellow light and and in addition to these lights there's been just numerous um, colored neutron beams or other type of reactions that have been going on um, I have most of them posted on my Facebook page I'll put links to all this at the bottom, and stay safe. I'll give you guys an update on my daughter in a couple days when we get our results back in. Thank you.